The Nissan Navara has gone electric. Well, sort of anyway. This actually is a Nissan Navara and it actually is electric, but it might be the worst gasoline to electric vehicle conversion that I have ever seen. In fact, it's absolutely horrendous. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Now, even though this is a Chinese pickup truck, it is actually a Nissan Navara because Dongfeng make the Nissan Navara for Nissan in China. And this really gives you an idea of why you shouldn't make an EV and a gas car on the same production line using the same car. There's many legacy automakers, many of them, including, well, one of the worst, Mercedes-Benz, who make electric vehicles and gasoline powered vehicles using the same exact platform. Toyota do it as well. Many of them do it. People still buy the cars and they probably never question why those vehicles are so incredibly heavy. They're compromised. Now, this is a really bad compromise. Most compromises are not as bad as this, but here's an idea. Here's an example. BMW's electric three series. They have it in China and it weighs a monstrous, absolutely incredible four and a half thousand pounds because it's a gasoline powered car turned into an EV. Therefore, the range is pretty poor based on the fact that it has a very big battery pack. Same thing would be the problem with this Nissan Navara. EVs are booming in China. Most people in China are saying, you know what? We don't want a gasoline powered car. Give us an electric vehicle. Give us an electric pickup truck. The Chinese actually do love pickup trucks. The latest electric pickup truck to come out of China is called the Dongfeng Rich 6 EV. It's rear wheel drive, body on frame, double cab, electric pickup truck with five seats. If you wanna know what it basically is, just look at the Nissan Navara. It is a Navara. Yeah, it's got a slightly different front, but it is the Navara. The specifications of this car, the gasoline version in China cost between 17,000 and 28,000, depending on the model. And this vehicle was made by the Zhengzhou Nissan joint venture, manufactured technically by Dongfeng. Now Dongfeng 6 is based on the Nissan Navara and well, it is just a Nissan Navara. It's got the same size, the same width, the same height. It's, everything is the same, the same truck, the same bed. The interior looks equally bad, but yeah, it's the Nissan Navara. But basically what they've done is slap a battery underneath the car, slap a motor underneath the car, and then say, here you go. Here's your electric pickup truck. Now the same thing has happened with Toyota pickup trucks in Australia. They're being sold to mining companies for $200,000 each, and mining companies are buying them because they don't have much choice. So what are the specs of this pickup truck? Well, it's got 163 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. Top speed is 100 kilometers an hour. It has a very small 60 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery pack for a claimed 350 kilometers of range. There's no way in hell you're gonna get 350 kilometers of range out of this thing unless you just towed it to the top of a hill and coasted down for a long, long way. Yeah, I don't know if there's any hills big enough to get you that kind of, well, that kind of range by simply rolling it down a hill. Now, the second version of this car has a bigger battery pack. It's got more power, 177 horsepower, and it has a top speed of 120 kilometers an hour. It's got a 77 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery for a claimed range of 453 kilometers. More likely you get around 300 kilometers, I believe, out of a vehicle this size with this weight and that size of battery pack. Now, Car News China has some photos of this truck and an article about it showing you what is actually being done. And it's surprisingly bad. The entire motor at the back of the truck has been completely exposed. You can see the wires, you can see the entire motor itself. You can see like wires just hanging off the thing. The conversion of this thing is absolutely atrocious. As you can see, the motor hangs out to the right of the vehicle. would have to put some kind of extra weight, quite a lot of extra weight on the right side of the truck. Plus, those wires being so exposed, I mean, you can imagine those wires could just easily be pulled out by, I don't know, anything really. So what's the price? Well, you think based on the fact that this is a really dodgy, poor conversion, it'd be cheap, but it's not. 39,000 to 48,000 US dollars, depending on the model specification. In my opinion, it is terrible. Now, unfortunately, the thing is, 
Pickups like this give EVs a bad name. Companies, in my opinion, shouldn't be doing this. They should be making proper pickup trucks, proper EVs, make them from the ground up, make, make a product that people will say, you know what, this is good. This is a reason to go electric. When you make products like this and they're this bad, it just gives electric vehicles the impression that they're poorly done and they don't actually perform as they should. That's my thoughts anyway. Let me know yours in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.